I think a uh, couple of people have been talking about uh, you know uh, vibe coding vibe debugging vibe product management what is vibe product management the delta for pms is a lot lar- larger than for uh, designers or developers uh, and i think uh, one way of thinking about it is that uh, you know historically as well the pm is a very amorphous role Uh, and it involves a lot of communication with a lot of different stakeholders some of the pms who did better were folks who would actually you know go into a conversation with an artifact uh, whether that's a screen or some data or you know interaction design or something right because then that makes a conversation more concrete now i think what's happening with vibe pming uh, is that you know people can just uh, put those thoughts into ai and come up with a entire ui ux which looks pretty decent the interesting part on what you just now described this is that we talk about that in vibe coding but we don't talk about that in vibe pming in that sense because in vibe coding what i have at least noticed is that you know the time to generate the code has compressed but the time to make the code work through a lot of debugging lot of iteration and if you really see that you know the coding plus debugging is practically equal to like you know how are you were doing it before in terms of your software defined development life cycle but uh, when you actually switch the pming like you know you don't seem to have that right i mean the critical step in software development. probably because uh, you know product management is already vibes right i'd argue that uh, most product managers are just using vibes to decide what feature should be there and you know what should be there in the product what is in this release versus what is in the next release it's all vibes anyway 